In this video, we'll be looking at how to create an XML file that can then be imported into the ASICUDA system. The ASICUDA Computerized Customs Management System, developed by the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, is implemented in over 80 countries around the world. CargoWise 1 supports the ASICUDA World Manifest data stream by making an XML file available that can be imported into the ASICUDA World system. To demonstrate the process, we'll be working within a Fiji company. It should be noted that the process for creating the ASICUDA XML file is the same regardless of the supported country and mode of transport. To start, go to Operate, Forwarding, Forwarding, then Consolidations to open the Consolidation search screen. Use the filters to find an existing consolidation. We'll use the Load Discharge filter to find consolidations with a discharge port of Fiji. Click on the Find button to display the matching results within the grid. Highlight the line and click on the Edit button to open the Edit Console window. The ASICUDA tab will display on all consolidations arriving into or routed through the supported country, in this example, Fiji. To create the ASICUDA manifest data, click on the ASICUDA tab, then Yes on the system prompt that displays. Data from the consolidation and shipments will display. Add to or update the information required for the ASICUDA manifest file. Grayed out fields, currently synchronized with the consolidation and shipment information, can be overridden by placing a tick in the override default values from console box, which will open the fields for editing. Once overridden, data will no longer be synchronized. Fields with a customs message warning, as indicated by this blue envelope, should be reviewed before sending the manifest. Having completed all the necessary information, click on the Save button to confirm your changes. When you're ready to send the manifest, click on the ASICUDA menu and select Send Manifest. The manifest is created and confirmed by this system prompt. Click on the OK button to clear this and return back to the Edit Console window. Under the Messages subtab, details of the created XML will display, including a message number, message time, creating user, and the message text. The XML file generated will be emailed to you as an attachment using the email address configured against your staff profile. You can then use the XML file received in the email to upload into the ASICUDA system using the functions that are available. Under the ASICUDA tab, you can manually update the status information within the Status Information section.